Hey there, Teresa here with the final day for now of these money shakeup messages of this money shifting message that I've been uh, talking about for the past few weeks. How appropriate to, to stop on this day, Valentine's Day. So first of all, happy Valentine's Day. Secondly, on this day, this day where we celebrate love, where we're all sending gifts and messages and posts about love and where we're expressing our love for the people in our lives. We're also living in a world where there's a lot of tension. There's the potential for violence. We're also living in a world where a lot of people don't feel loved, where there are lots of people who are going to bed hungry or living homeless or um, who are refugees or are in the midst of a war or facing the potential of war. Here, so many of us who, like me, have been blessed are sharing our love with the people we love. But what if we could, this Valentine's Day, go beyond the sharing of love with the people we know and the people immediately in our lives? And what if we, me and you, could do something to create a more loving world so that everyone on this planet experiences being loved. I don't think that's possible unless we all shift, monumentally shift, our relationship with money. For so many of us, money represents power and freedom and security. For so many more, money represents the missing piece to having the basic essentials. Money, if you really look at it and our relationship with money, you can trace it, you can find its, its tentacles in in all of the the major challenges our world is facing some of which i've just listed it's kind of like the the famous line in in agatha christie mysteries and so many mysteries is follow the money trail it's it's like money is at the heart of so much that's not love not loving in our world and I, I believe that's because our relationship with money has been rooted in this invisible archetype of scarcity that I'm on, that I rant about on a regular basis, that I'm on a mission to transform. Because that archetype of scarcity, which is, is very uh egoic and intellectual and rational and logical and judgmental and dualistic, it's an either or world, is always going to create this dichotomy of some have more and others have less. And, and oftentimes it's, those of us in Western cultures, our pursuit of more for the sake of more, even if we don't realize we're doing it, that creates real scarcity, less for so many. Conversely, some of us growing up with um, the subconscious belief in our own inherent scarcity, thinking we're not important, we're not worthy, we make everybody else and everything else more important than us, we continue to live with less because we think it's all we deserve. Because we don't love ourselves for who we are. Because, well, that's just what we've always known. 
this this scarcity operating system it's like the running in the background of our lives is rooted in and perpetuated by fear fear of not having enough fear of not being enough fear is the opposite of love when we're we're driven and we're stressing and we're pressuring and we're controlling and we're 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 trying to to like have power and security and freedom for ourselves oftentimes it's not be coming from a place of loving and embracing who we uniquely are it's from a fear of that not enough and because we're so wrapped into, and I include myself in this for much of my life, and I still can fall prey to it, I, I'm be the first to admit it. We're so obsessed about making sure we get what we want, what we need. It's it's me or them that we live in. It's like if if they get more, I get less. This is the dynamic, even if we in our heads say no, no, no. It's what shapes our relationship with money unless you've done a lot a lot of both personal and spiritual work and have developed a whole new level of consciousness that takes you out of this archetype of scarcity and into what i call the divine archetype of abundance because the divine archetype of abundance was created by the source of love it is the blueprint for all of creation to, to be a place where we're loved, where we know ourselves as loved, where we love each other. It's what allows us to create a more loving world. But until you and I can begin to see the individual and the collective ways, our relationship with money and ourselves and each other is driven by built upon this archetype of scarcity that I call a giant game of musical chairs. You know, you either are in the game or you're out. You're either a winner or a loser. That's not the most loving world. Um, until we start to see it and how it works and how it shapes our relationship with money, again, individually and collectively, until we start to see what, what sets it up, and until we see how to shift to a, a totally de different operating system, a totally different level of consciousness, a totally different worldview, we'll continue to live in a world where some have and some don't, where war and the potential for war is constant, where you and I are driven by fear, not love. And where our fear, unclaimed, unseen, unshifted, if that's a word, creates fear in the world, and then we respond from fear, which only creates more fear. If you, my friend, like me, dream deep inside even if you don't see how it can happen but you dream of a more loving world where individuals are loved where creation is loved and appreciated and respected where instead of a giant game of musical chairs me versus them in or out we create a new game Imagine a chair for everyone. If that speaks to your heart, then join me this week as I spell out in full detail everything that I see is needed to make this shift from the archetype of scarcity into a whole new way of operating, one that supports your abundance and abundance in our world, most especially an abundance of love. If you want to be part of that, then 
join me for my free webinar this week. Check it out. See what I'm offering as the monumental money shift that you and I can make and we can be part of creating in our world. Reserve your spot now and thank you. I'll see you on the webinar. At least I sure hope I will so that together we can create a more loving world beginning with your world and radiating out into the world around you. How? By shifting your relationship with money. Happy Valentine's Day.